Okay, so I wanted to give you five tips on installing a In this particular shower, obviously it's curbless. Figured it'd be easier to explain after we have the tile installed, but number one is always to start your layout at the most visible area of the shower, wherever you think that your eye is gonna be caught. So if you had a tub, you know, look at the front of the tub. If you're in a shower, like this is the back wall of the room, I felt that the most visible area of the, of the bathroom was gonna be the shower. So we started our hexagonal tile from the back shower wall, starting with um, basically the, the pattern, the, the half pattern along with the room. And you know, the, when, you have a, when you have a bathroom that has uh, a vanity on the other side that takes up the entire area, you have a little bit more wiggle room as far as not, it doesn't matter what's underneath the vanity. So you can start from one side of the room and work to the other and not care about the end result uh, underneath the vanity. So tip number one is to start at the most visible area of the room. In this case, it was the shower. We felt that starting at the, at the end shower wall was gonna be the most visible part of the shower. So we started our pattern from there and worked our way towards the vanity. So tip number two was symmetry on either side of the bathroom, making sure that you have, you know, at least fuller tile on other, either side of the shower and trying to eliminate having small slivers, you know, basically diamonds at the edge. So trying to have a fuller tile like this where the wall tile coming down won't create any type of small diamond. So symmetry is very important. Um, just as important as starting on your most visible wall. So tip number three on hexagonal tile specifically. Now, having six sides, definitely a more challenge to keep all these grout lines even. Uh, you'll definitely find that it's, it's, it's pretty frustrating to have all six sides to be even. But what will help you with that is for number one, using a good spacer. We like these horseshoe shims for that. And on this particular floor, I didn't use this on every single one, just where I needed help squeezing things over. But what really did help were these seam clips. They come in a variety of different colors, uh, dictating different size tile to use. So make sure when you look at a seam clip, you make sure that you have the, first off, you have the correct thickness of tile. And then the spacer, like this, this little spacer on here is about a 1 32nd. So we ended up still using the horseshoe shims to get it out of the 16th. But basically, this really helps with lippage. I mean, that's what it's primarily designed for. But the secondary benefit of it is that once you pinch them together, you know, it's holding everything in place. So on a hexagonal tile, I found it, I found it more important to have these seam clips just holding the whole unit together so I can shift them around and not move my grout joints. So allowing them not to move helped out tremendously. Because any time that I would put a, a, a shim in, it would shim, it, it would it move multiple tiles over rather than, um, you know, forcing one grout joint closer to the next. So that's tip number three, use horseshoe shims and some kind of leveling clip. This is the seam clip. And by the way, if you like these tips, please give us a thumbs up. Really helps us out. Keeps us motivated to keep giving you more tips. Tip number four is to slightly pitch the outside floor of the shower towards the drain. Uh, and I, I'm just saying slightly because <clears throat> if you try to do too much of a slope, you'll end up with lippage on your tile. So just as long as that, you know, the bubble on your level is leaning towards uh, the outside of the shower, that's enough pitch. It's just basically just in case any runoff came out that it's not just gonna keep flowing further into the bathroom that it will actually drain back towards the drain. So that was tip number four. Use a level and pitch the outside of the floor tile just slightly to allow water to drain towards the channel drain. And then tip number five is to use the spacer for the channel drain to make sure that you have the correct distance between the inside of the shower and the outside of the shower. This tremendously helps to get everything in line on either side of the shower to make sure that you have the right spacing in the gap. And we also used a Montelit hand pad. This is basically just a, uh, a diamond scrub pad. And what this allowed us to do was to 
smooth out the edges of this tile since these are basically raw edges coming towards the towards the shower it's really important to sand these down to make sure that they're not sharp and can't you know cut your feet so tiling can definitely be an overwhelming process especially if you're doing a large bathroom and doing intricate tile work i completely understand how overwhelming it could be trying to think about how am i going to get this laid out and 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 make this look good and i'm having a hard time with all the different components that it takes to build the shower uh, but if you just take things one step at a time and you follow kind of the directions that we're kind of laying out for you how to do things it will uh, fall in place and, and, and I mean I'm not going to say it's going to just take it's going to be really quick it's just going to be it's a process so you just have to start the process out start out with your layout at the the, the easiest spot use the right thin sets use the spacers use all these tools to make it easier for you and you'll find that you'll actually enjoy tiling as you move forward and then once you get the finished product um, the reward is in just being able to use that shower and know that you built that bathroom uh, from from the ground up so um, please take a look at bathroom repair tutor we're here to help you uh, find the easiest way and the most efficient way to get things done and to do it right mm -hmm.